Most people have heard about the leak of the new FNAF game Into the Pit. It was leaked last week. And we got a lot from that whole situation. We were given a trailer that showcased a really cool 2D pixel art style. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the first FNAF game with this specific art style. For those of you who didn't hear the news and didn't look at the new trailer for Into the Pit, Into the Pit is basically a game adaptation of the first Fazbear Frights book. And Scott's way of celebrating the franchise's 10th anniversary. Now, most people who know about FNAF know that Scott Cawthorn, Cawthorn, shit, shit. Um, the pronunciation of his last name. Most people who know about FNAF know that Scott is the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's. And he likes to joke around with the community a lot. Likes to put little Easter eggs and hints and stuff about lore and whatnot. He He's a cool dude. But we saw last year when we got a whole bunch of FNAF content. Security Breach Ruin we got last year. We also got the FNAF movie and Chica in Space. Yes, I'm counting that. And when Scott found out about the leaks of the FNAF movie... He was very disappointed, and even the FNAF community was very disappointed. They waited so long for this moment, and it got leaked, that everyone took a stand and basically said, if you're a true FNAF fan, you're not going to accept this leak, and you're going to wait to see any FNAF movie content on release day or whenever you saw it. But... This time around, Into the Pit didn't get that same response. When Scott found out about this leak, his response was basically, Okay, sure. I mean, I wanted to wait just a little longer to announce this new game, but hey, go for it. Check it out. Yeah, just the contrast in responses from Scott is interesting for me. And it made me think about the future of FNAF because 2023 was the year of FNAF. Like I said, we got three FNAF things. I don't know what to call them. Contents, games, a movie. Got two games and a movie. (laughs) Three things. Where's FNAF going from here? I have a few ideas, Bruin. And let me know your own thoughts in the comments. But if FNAF is going at the pace it is, it's probably going to wrap up pretty soon. And we're going to have a halt again of FNAF. We may have some books here and there, but I, I think... The bigger projects are going to have a hold after this year. Now what we could see within the next year, maybe another game, maybe a show, maybe a freaking amusement park. Now, I'm going to pause here. I know that's outlandish. But with this amusement park idea, I just want to see what images I could come up with. So I typed into chat GPT to see if we could create some simple images for this Five Nights at Freddy's amusement park. Now where this amusement park would be, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I didn't. I, this idea is very limited. So if you want to expand on where this amusement park for FNAF would be, let me know. Maybe we could all create something and send the blueprints to Scott and he just has to say, all right, build that. Anyway, silly idea. I just can't see this continuation of FNAF projects surpassing this 
this next year. If you disagree, let me know. But those are my thoughts as of now. But in regards to Into the Pit trailer, I'm going to share with you some of my initial reaction and then we'll get into some of my thoughts and that'll be it. What? <laughs> the, the sounds are... The sounds for the animation is fantastic. <laughs> like when he moves that sound, it's, it sounds like it's more real than what it looks like. It's very interesting because the, the 2D pixel art style is not realistic. You know, so it's quite interesting there, but everything moves pretty smoothly so far. The glowing eyes. I wonder if the blue glowing eyes are an indication of something lore wise. I wonder if this is Afton too. Um, yeah, that's so cool. Everything moves like butter. That's so cool how you have such a like, kind of old school art style and yet it's modernized. Like, it, it's just, it's so well done. This is going to be fun. I think this is um, Oswald. Is that his name of this character? And then the one in the bunny suit, is that going to be Afton? Or is it not Afton? Employees only. And I think this is the Into the Pit book is about Oswald's dad getting dragged into the pit. I think that's all I remember from the book. So, it's this guy, his dad. Yep. Whoa. What were you thinking? Hiding in that nasty old thing. The pit. Didn't you hear me calling you? Oh. Butter. Look at that. Oh my god. Interesting choice. Here. You're gonna hide in the suit. Well, is he going to get snatched up? Oh, that breathing. Yeah, because you're breathing fucking loud. Yeah. Game looks fun. I don't know if a lot of people are going to enjoy this specific art style for the games. It doesn't seem like too scary, which is good. Right up my alley. <laughs> That's how I prefer games to be. But I know a lot of people, when they want to play a FNAF game, they want to be scared. Some people say FNAF games aren't really that scary. Whatever. But the game, to me, looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's really well done. The music, the animation sounds, like the movements, the breathing. <laughs> That's, um, it sounds like in, I think it's FNAF 2, when you put on the mask, 
and it's like that heavy breathing. I think it's that one. It sounds like that. So I don't know if they're trying to connect things. That's for the game theorist and other FNAF theorists to dissect. It does seem like there's going to be some some lore details in here. I'm I'm pretty sure. So cool. <laughs> Imagine if like at the end of this game the yellow Bonnie suit gets gets um, revealed unmasked and it's got <laughs> he was the final boss. That'd be funny.